So you know how when you have a bunch of things in your closet, but you just don't know what to wear. Like, you have a ton of things, but you're like, hmm, how do I put this stuff together? What should I wear? Or your girl call you like, T, get ready. We're about to ready to go somewhere really quick. You got 10 minutes to get dressed. You don't have a bunch of time to throw together your best outfit. So if you have been in one of those situations and you need some tips on what to throw together really, really quickly when you don't know what to wear, stay tuned because this video might be for you. Hey you beauties and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hey boo. Here on You Beauties, we discuss everything style, everything fashion, and everything beauty. Mainly style and fashion, but your girl is getting ready to start throwing in some lifestyle stuff. So, if you are digging your girl vibes and you feel like this channel is going to be a good fit for you, and you want to be a part of the You Beauty Squad, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, so you will be alerted the next time your girl drops a video. So today, yes, you beauties, from the title of this video, I am going to show you three fail-proof ways to put together an outfit when you don't know what to wear or if your girl call you on some last-minute stuff like you got to put together an outfit real, real cute. So I just wanted to give you some tips on what I tend to do when I don't have a bunch of time to throw together an outfit or I just don't know what to wear with all of the stuff that I have in my closet. So let's jump straight into this video because I got some stuff to show y'all and y'all got some stuff and some notes to take. So let's jump into this video. Okay, ladies. So Tip number one, here is where you guys should be utilizing your white shirts. Whether that's a long white shirt like this, a white t-shirt, some type of white shirt. So for this tip, you want to have your good, good white shirt, a neutral color bag. Here I chose black and some neutral color pumps. And as you can see, I chose my clear nude pumps. Now, you can choose black pumps, nude pumps, some neutral color that can match well with the outfit because the outfit is very, very plain, simple, but classic, chic, and girl, killing them, right? You know what I mean? Like this look is very, very, very simple, but your girl still looks fly as hell. You know what I mean? So tip number one is utilize your white t-shirts a nude bag, a neutral color bag, and a new, some neutral color pumps. Because like I said, here, you're not doing too much. There's not a bunch of colors. It's not a bunch of accents. It's so easy to put on. So in five minutes, you could have thought of this, right? Ooh, what can I put on? Boom. Some jeans, my long, my long white shirt, my neutral pumps, my neutral bag, my sunglasses, and I'm ready to go. Boom. So this is one of the key things I do for when I am in a writer or I just don't know what to wear. Now, for each of these tips, I'm going to show you two variations of the tip, of the tip, right? So this is look number one in style tip number one. Very, like I said, very classic, very traditional, but your girl looks scrumptious. Like, I'm ready to go. Like, T, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Like, are we leaving or what? Like, like I said, you always want to choose neutral color bags. That can kind of go with everything, right? Black kind of goes with everything. Neutral color shoes. Well, clear almost goes with anything, right? And, you know, this doesn't really have a color, which is a good thing. So I would say choose colors like the nude or the clear or the black. And keep it simple. Keep it classic because you don't have a lot of time, right, ladies? So this is look number one. What you guys think? Cute, right? Very cute. Very classic. And, um... Shout out to the thrift store for my Fendi bag. Yes, I said Fendi. This is a Fendi bag that I got for 40 bucks. I'm so excited. I told y'all about this thrift life. I told y'all. So anyway, this is look number one. Like I said, cute classic and I'm ready to go. You know what I mean? Like, you can't tell me that I'm not ready to go. So, look number one. Let's get into look number two. Here's a second look in style tip number one, right? It's almost the exact same kind of situation when it comes to the look. You got the white tee, you got the denim shorts instead of the denim jeans. I kept it simple with the same clear transparent pumps and my same Fendi bag because I'm in love with this bag. So 
This is the same variation, almost the same variation, but I wanted to give you guys an alternative to the look just in case you don't have um, a long white shirt like myself. That shirt was from Zara. I absolutely adore that shirt. I'm so mad that I permanently stained it. But the good thing about it is that it's, um, it's oversized. It can be worn as a dress. And Zara almost always have those shirts in stock, you guys. So this shirt, however, is from Forever 21. What gravitated me towards it the most is the material. Like, I love how it flows. And it's like this silky type material. So I love that. So this is the second look. So you got, like I said, the transparent pumps, the denim shorts, thrifted, Forever 21, the Fendi bag. I, like I said, I kept it traditional. I got the neutral bag, the neutral pumps, the white shirt with a pair of denims. Classic look. So simple to throw on, you guys. I'm telling you, when you don't know what to wear, these are the tips you want to go to. So style tip number one, ladies. Utilize your white shirts, whether that be a white button-down, short and or long, um, a white tee, whatever you have in your possession, you want to utilize your white shirts. You also want to utilize your neutral color accessories, your neutral color bag, your neutral color shoes, and this is a good way to be able to throw on something that's so simple, yet so cute, and you're still going to be killing the game, right? Cute, simple, but I'm, I'm still going to kill them when I walk in. Like... <laughs> Like, you can't tell me I'm not about to kill him when I walk in. Like, this is super cute, super classy, and super traditional. All you, you know what I'm going to tell you, girls. All you need is your sunglasses, and you are va-va-va-boom, ready to go, baby. We don't need nothing more. This is simple. I'm going to remind you guys, we're keeping it simple for this look, because you only got about 10 minutes to get ready. This is a 10-minute outfit. You know what I mean? Like, something quick, something classic. So, yeah. So, that is style tip number one. Cute. Let's jump into style tip number two. Okay, ladies, style tip number two. You want to grab yourself a pair of white tennis shoes. They could be any pair of white tennis shoes that you have, a white bag, and some type of dress in your closet that's casual enough to wear to an event or something that's casual enough that's just not, that does not just say wedding dress prom dress to something that's casual like this dress right here so for some reason white tennis shoes just look so good with dresses it's insane like i'm gonna show you a whole other dress as an evening dress that i'm gonna wear with these shoes and the outfit is super super cute so um so this is a look right like super cute super classy super ready to go now of course ladies all of these tips you want to take and adjust them to the event that you're going to, right? If your girl call you say, T, we're getting ready to go to a black tie party, of course you don't want to throw on no tennis shoes with a like, cute little summer dress. No, you want to adjust accordingly. So these tips are for events that are simple enough to just get ready within 10 minutes or so, right? That could be a barbecue, that could be simply just going out to get some food or some brunch with your girls, or you could just be going to go to your girl's house to meet another friend. Something that's simple enough to say, okay, I don't really got to get all dolled up, but I do got to look cute enough. And so this right here is like a go-to when you don't have enough time or you just don't know what to wear. A cute dress, some white tennis shoes, along with a white bag, and you got yourself a look, and you're cute, like, right? You're very, very cute. Like, if you guys have seen my TikTok, you guys have seen this video, this dress. It is from H&M. Um, I did a try-on haul, and this is one of the dress that I transformed. So I thought this was very cute, very, um, very summer-ready. I absolutely love this dress. Um, this will be on my consignment store for sale. Um, and I stench it at the waist with a little, small, little thin belt um, because I think it just looks better when it's stench at the waist, is my opinion. But, like I said, you can't go wrong with a white pair of tennis shoes and your white bag and a cute little dress, right? You don't believe me? Watch when I show you guys the second look. Like, literally, I feel like this can work with almost any dress that's not for a special occasion, right? So you don't want to... And I'm not even going to say it won't go with a, um, with a wedding dress because I've seen brides wear chucks with their wedding dress, right? So I just feel like it can possibly go with almost anything, but you be the judgment of what's appropriate to wear for your event. So 
This is look number one and style tip number two. Cute classic, right? She cute. She cute. She ready. Let's get into look number two. Hey ladies, so here is the dress I was getting ready to tell you guys about in the first look. This is a simple evening dress, right? Like, on what I mean by evening dress. This dress you would typically see worn to, like, dinner with your boo, date night. You know, it's not doing too much, but it's still very sexy. The material is, like, this shiny, cute material. But isn't it still cute with the tennis shoes? Like, like I said, I don't know, for some reason, like, white tennis shoes just, for me, just kind of goes with any dress you could possibly think of. Um... And I love the combination together. So this is something I will typically gravitate to when I don't know what to wear or I don't have a lot of time to get dressed, right? Because I still look cute, very girly, very classic, very chic, and I still can kill him in the room. You know what I mean? Like somebody's going to ask you when you get that dress. Somebody's going to ask you about them teeth. Somebody's going to ask you something. Because you're still rock walking into the room and you're still the belle of the ball. Of course, that's our title. You know, that's what we do here. But it's still simple and cute. You guys cannot tell me that this outfit isn't cute. Right? White tennis shoes are like everything. Like, your girl don't even wear tennis shoes that often. Right? I am a heels pump girl at heart. But there are days where my feet like, girl, T, you're tripping out. We tired, boss. Like, we are tired. Give us a break. And these are the days where I will typically gravitate towards my chucks or my high-top chucks. Something that gives my feet some rest, but still allows me to be very girly, very feminine, and very cute. And I think that this does the job. So, like I said, when all else fails, ladies, throw on those white tennis shoes in that dress. I don't give a... I don't care what dress it is. Like... If you feel like it's downing the dress, like the tennis shoes are like downing the dress, throw on a different dress, boo. But I kid you not, white tennis shoes can be worn with almost anything. Like I said, I've seen them more with a wedding dress, a slip dress, any type of dress that there is, I've seen them worn with it. So I just think that they're a very classic look, very neat, um, very necessary in your wardrobe. And this is what the look you want to go for when you don't have a lot of time. And you can't think of your best outfit to wear. Here you go right here. Very simple, very classic. If the dress was way down to the floor with a train, like a wedding dress, it still would be cute. Like, it still would be very cute, very classic. So that is style tip number two for you guys. You always need your white tennis shoes to coincide with your white bag and you just need to throw on a dress and boom you are ready to go let's not forget the accessories ladies and the sunglasses and boom you are ready to go so that's top style tip number two what y'all thinking she cute she ready right i just threw on a whole silky dress for y'all just to prove that these white tennis shoes still looks good with this dress so let's get into style tip Number three, style tip. Okay, style tip number three, here we go. <laughs> hey, you guys, style tip number three and the final tip. Throw yourself on some type of graphic tee and the slacks to go with it. Now, what you want to do here is you want to choose a graphic tee with whatever colors you have in it, blue, orange, purple, green, red, whatever, and then you want to take a color from the inside of the graphic tee and you want to match the slacks with it. Now, I know that can be difficult for some people. Like, maybe you only have black on black on black. That works perfectly, boo. Like, that works perfectly. Or maybe you just have a black and white graphic tee, but all you have is white slacks. That works as well, honey. Like, you just want to make sure that your slacks and your graphic tee are coordinating, you know what I mean? We coordinate, we coordinate, right? So, but you also want to have a neutral bag and some neutral shoes. Again, I chose to put on my clear pumps because I feel like it just gives this outfit a little extra, a little something, something, you know, because your girl toes are showing and all that good stuff. So, yeah, so you want to, like I said, graphic tees and slacks are a must when you don't know what to wear. Super chic, super classy. But you're killing them with just these simple two items, right? Like these two little five-minute, you know, thought-about items and you're going about your day. Like, you can't tell me we're not ready to go. Like, you can't tell me that. Like, 
that's the importance of having graphic tees and slacks in your wardrobe, ladies. Like, yes, we need the jeans and the shorts and the skirts, but we do need the slacks. Even if we don't work in a business professional setting, you still need some good slacks and you definitely need some graphic tees because these are the days you want to throw on your graphic tees when you don't know what to wear or you don't have a lot of time to figure out what to wear. Boom, what you going to? Right here, baby. <laughs> Very cute, right? Like, don't I look super, super cute? Like, Oscar looking real mean right now. Like, real mean right now. And I just set it off with the red slacks. You know what I mean? So, definitely a looker. Definitely ready to go, you know. Like I said, I paired it with my little black little present bag. But you can wear any black bag that you have. Any white bag that you have. Any neutral color bag that you have along with any neutral color shoes that you have whether that's black new clear whatever the case may be but we want to keep it simple like i said ladies we don't have a lot of, we don't have a lot of time and your girl's waiting in the car and you got to get dressed quickly right so you're like ah what do i wear boom here's what you wear right here we're looking real cute though so here's look number one and style tip number three what y'all thinking Cute. Cute. By the way, this entire look is thrifted, by the way. You know, I just had to put it out there. You know, the slacks. The graphic tee. The bag. It's all thrifted. What y'all thinking? What y'all thinking? Cute, right? All right, you guys. So let's get into the last and final look. All right, guys. So here is the final look and style tip number three. Graphic tees and slacks. Now... Your girl first told you that you want to make sure that your graphic tee and your slacks are color coordinated. Like you want to choose a color out of your graphic tee and make sure the slacks match it. But here, I wanted to do a little something different and let you know that it's perfectly okay to color block. Like, you know that one of my favorite color blocking combinations is purple and red. Like that's just a traditional color blocking um combo but it's also one of my favorites so here I wanted to do a little something different and throw on my I'm lit shirt you know because I am lit <laughs> with my purple slacks and give you something different and to let you know that it's perfectly okay okay to color coordinate now think about this lady like I said ladies you don't have a lot of time to get ready right so you don't want to sit here and think oh how many times I can color block in this outfit the first look was to say Pick a color, pick the slacks, boom, you're ready to go. If you have a little bit more time or you can think quick on your feet, then you want to go ahead and gravitate towards the second look. Because like I said, I'm doing a little color blocking here, but I'm still keeping it traditional with my neutral bag. I'm still keeping it traditional with my um, clear pumps. And the outfit is still simple, but it's still very cute. And I'm going to kill them. Like I said, we're going to kill the game. You know what I mean? Like, we don't come to play, ladies. Like, you beauty squad, we don't come to play. You know, with everything we do, we got to be cute. We got to kill it. It has to be a murder scene everywhere we go. We have to turn heads. You know, maybe steal some men. You know, whatever we going to do, we're going to do it. By the way, I don't condone, you know, sleeping with married men. I'm just saying. That's just a joke. But anyway, um, so yeah. So this is what we're going to do. So whether you decide to choose a color that is in your graphic tee or not, you kind of just want to keep keep it you kind of just want to keep the colors classic and simple and like I said purple and red we all know goes very well together you guys it's a traditional um, color blocking color combo so and that's why I choose this look for the last look so to run quickly through the tips first tip utilize your white shirts ladies that can be a long white shirt that can be a short white shirt that can be a uh, v-neck white shirt whatever type of white shirt that you have utilize it to get ready quick fast and when you don't know what to wear take that white shirt and pair that white shirt with a pair of jeans with a pair of shorts throw on a neutral color pump and or heel with a neutral color bag like this right here and you are set to go. Don't forget your accessories and don't forget your sunglasses. Boom, you are ready to go. Style tip number two. Get your white shoes, tennis shoes out, ladies, to go, and then get the white bag to go with it. 
throw on a dress, boom, you are now cute, you are now ready. White tennis shoes, as I've shown you in this video, goes with almost any dress in your closet. If you want to challenge me on that, drop a pic in my DMs and let me know. Like, I'm ready to take on this challenge. If you, if you send me a dress and you be like, here's my white tennis shoes, I wore my white tennis shoes, but to me, it just don't look right. I'm going to do whatever I can to change your mind. We might have to tweak it, restyle it, add something. We don't know. We'll just see it. So I would challenge anybody that's watching this video to do that. Lastly, tip number three. Throw on a graphic tee with some slacks, some neutral color pumps, a neutral color bag, and boom. And your accessories and your sunglasses. And boom, you are ready to go. Um, this is look number two in style tip number three. I did a little color blocking, but the first look, you know, I kept it traditional with the red and the red. Here I'm doing a little bit more just for the ladies who like, I don't do the red and the red and the color and the color. Here, here you guys go. So I wanted to give you guys a little something different. So I hope this video was very helpful. I hope that it gave you some ideas on what to wear when you don't know what to wear or when your girl call you like, T, it's time to go. You got 10 minutes to get ready. Boom. This is what you're going to wear. Like these ideas are traditionally how I choose my outfits when I don't know what to wear or when I don't have a lot of time. I'm not given a lot of time. Your girl threw an audible. Y'all about to go somewhere. You really don't even know where you're going, but all you know is you got to be cute. What you going to? these three tips. This is normally what I do, so I wanted to share it with you beauties and hopefully it can help someone as well. So, this is it ladies. I hope you like the outfits. I hope you like everything that I style. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments and I will address it on my next Q&A session. Don't forget to watch my last videos. Um, and yeah, you beauties. I will see you guys the next time your girl drop a video. But until then, bye beauties.